What up guys, this is just going to be a quick video to help you uh, understand a little bit better the differences between the talents in the disc tree between TBC and Wrath of the Lich King and the pre-patch. And we're going to be looking at the five point version of all these talents, otherwise this will take forever. Uh, and comparing them so that you can see side by side what the changes are. Now, first of all, we've got Unbreakable Will, which is changing from the RNG talent that we know and love, 15% chance to resist, stun, fear, and silence. And this is going to change to 30% reduced duration of stun, fear, and silence. Next up, we have got one specialization, which used to be 25% damage with ones. This is changing to twin disciplines, and it's going to be increases the damage and healing of your instance by 5%. Next up, we've got Silent Resolve, which is changing from 20% reduced threat and 20% reduced chance to have your spells dispelled. Uh, the second portion is changing to 30% chance, and it only affects friendly spells and dots. Next up, we've got Imp Fort, which is changing from uh, increasing the uh, effect of Powered Fortitude and Prayer of Fortitude by 30%. To increases the effect of Powered Fortitude, Prayer of Fortitude by 30% and increases your total stamina by 4%. So just like a little bit of extra tankiness. Empowered Shield staying the same. The only difference being that the location of the talent is moved down a row. So Martyrdom actually is changed slightly whereby you no longer have a chance to resist uh, Silence and Interrupt effects. It just reduces the duration of them. Absolution is unchanged. The only difference being, again, that it's been moved down a row. Inner Focus is unchanged. Meditation has been moved slightly and is now 50% of your mana regen while casting instead of 30%. Improved Inner Fire has been moved up a few rows and now increases the effect of your Inner Fire by 45% and increases the total number of charges by 12 Initially, it was just the armor bonus. However, in Wrath of the Lich King, Inner Fire also gives spell power. So this is also affected by the talent. Mental Agility is now a three-point talent instead of a five-point talent. However, it does the same thing. Improved Mana Burn is unchanged and not moved. Mental Strength has been changed from increasing your maximum mana by 10% to increases your total intellect by 15%. Divine Spirit talent has been removed and is now baseline. Improved Spirit has been removed from the game. Instead, we have a talent here now called Soul Warding, which is going to turn out to be very, very impactful in PvE. This reduces the cooldown of your Powered Shield ability by four seconds, so you can now shield every single global. Uh, this also reduces the mana cost of your shield by 15%. Focus Power has been changed slightly, however, is in the same position. Instead of increasing your chance to hit with Smite, Mind Blast, and Master Spell, it increases your damage and healing by 4%. The cast time reduction for Master Spell is unchanged. Force of Will has been removed from the game. Focused Will has been changed slightly. It now increases your crit chance by 3%. And the damage reduction remains the same. However, the healing boost that you get from the talent has been halved, uh, going from 10% per stack to just 5% per stack. Power Infusion is in the same position, however, the cooldown has been reduced from 3 minutes to 2 minutes. Reflective Shield has been changed slightly. Instead of reflecting 50% damage on anyone, it now reflects 45% damage but only on yourself. Uh, and now it's now a 2 point talent instead of a 5 point talent. Enlightenment has been changed slightly. It no longer increases Stamina, in and Spirit by 5%. Instead it increases Spirit by 6% and gives you 6% haste. The talent has also been moved up a few rows. Pain Suppression is in the same location. The spell still does the same thing. However, the cooldown has been increased from two minutes to three minutes. This is the end of the TBC talents. We've got some new ones for Wrath of the Lich King, including Improved Flash Heal, which reduces the mana cost of Flash Heal by 15% and increases the crit chance of your Flash Heal by 10% on friendly targets at or below 50% health. We've got Renewed Hope, Increases the crit chance of your Flash Heal, Greater Heal, and Penance Heal spells by 4% on targets affected by Weakened Soul. You have a 100% chance to reduce all damage taken by 3% for 1 minute to all friendly party and raid targets when you cast a Power Word Shield. 
This effect is a two second cooldown. Next up, we've got Rapture. When your power shield is completely absorbed or dispelled, you are instantly energized with 2.5% of your total mana, and you have a 100% chance to energize your shielded target with 2% total mana, 8 rage, 16 energy, or 32 runic power. And this can only occur once every 12 seconds. Next up, we've got Aspiration which is a two-point talent and reduces the cooldown of Inner Focus, Power Infusion, Pain Suppression, and Penance by 20%. Next, we've got Divine Aegis, a three-point talent. Crit heals, create a protective shield on the target, absorbing 30% of the mount healed. It lasts for 12 seconds. Next, we've got Grace. Your Flash Heal, Great Heal, and Penance spells have 100% chance to bless the target with Grace, increasing all healing received by the Priest by 3%. This effect will stack up to three times and last for 15 seconds. Next up, we've got Borrowed Time. Grants you 25% spell haste for your next spell after casting Power Word Shield and increases the amount absorbed by your Power Word Shield equal to 40% of your total spell power. And finally, we've got Penance. Launches a volley of Holy Light at the target, causing 240 damage to an enemy or 670 to 756 healing to an ally instantly and every one second for two seconds. So this was all of the disc talents and their changes. I hope this was interesting uh, or if not, at least helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.